in this lecture let us discuss about white box testing which is also known as clear box testing or glass box testing or structural testing here tester has knowledge of the internal working of the application unlike black box testing which focus on testing the functionality of an application without knowing its internal logic white box testing involves understanding and evaluating the internal code structure logic and algorithms and the objectives of white box testing include the first one is code coverage white box testing achieve thorough testing coverage by examining all the code paths branches and conditions and the second objective is internal logic testing which here this testing ensure that the logic and algorithms in the code are functioning as required and meet the specified requirements and then error detection this testing assist in locating and fixing the bugs or errors by providing insights into the code's behavior it even validate that the code performs its functions correctly and integrates properly with other components types of white box testing first one is unit testing objective of unit testing is to test individual units or components of the code in isolation so it will verify that each function or method behaves as expected and we can use some tools like j unit n unit pi test etc for performing unit testing so testing an a function that calculates the factorial of a number to ensure it returns correct results for various inputs can be taken as an example for unit testing and second one is integration testing so in in this testing we'll check whether all these uh, components if we combine together they are interacting properly or not or they are working together as expected or not and it will verify that the combined components interact correctly and data is exchanged properly we can use tools like j unit with integration test extensions for performing integration testing so best example is testing the integration of a user authentication module with a database to ensure user credentials are correctly validated and stored the third one is path testing objective is to test all possible execution paths through the code so it ensure that each path including those with complex branching and loops is executed example can be testing all possible combinations of if else conditions in a function to verify that each path produces the correct result then we have loop testing which ensures that loops in the code like it can be for loop while loop or do while loop they execute correctly and handle boundary conditions so it tests different scenarios such as zero iterations one iteration and multiple iterations example can be testing a loop that process list to ensure it correctly handles an empty list single item list and multi item list then uh, condition testing which verify that all conditions in the code are tested with both true and false outcomes it ensure that each logical condition like uh, if you take exam uh, comparisons so they are evaluated correctly or not an example can be testing a function that contains multiple boolean boolean conditions to ensure all combinations of true and false conditions are evaluated these are the steps in white box testing first thing is understand the code then application architecture and functional requirements so you need to understand that and then design the test cases based on application's code algorithms and logical paths so this uh, can be identifying specific code segments or branches loops and conditions the all these things to be tested and then execute the tests so run the design test cases on the application which involves executing code paths and conditions identified in the test cases in order to observe actual behavior 
then analyze the results so examine the results of the test to determine if the code behaves as expected or not so here you can compare the actual outcomes to the expected results and analyze if there are any discrepancies between actual and expected results then refactor and retest so documents uh, document any defects or issues discovered during testing so work with the development team in order to fix these issues and ensure that the fixes are correctly implemented so once the issues are addressed rerun the test cases to ensure that the fixes work and that no issues have been introduced so these are the tools we can use for unit testing code coverage tools include jacoco kobarshura and istanbul then we have statistic analysis tools like sonar cube and eslint then debugging tools like gdb visual lab studio debugger advantages are the first one is we have thorough testing that means uh, white box testing it actually helps achieve high code coverage as it includes statements branches and paths so this ensures that many aspects of the internal logic are tested so what is the advantage of this thorough testing so it can uncover hidden errors and bugs so which may not be detected by black box testing particularly those related to internal logic and control flow next is early bug detection so by testing the code at an early stage developers can identify and fix issues before they escalate to next levels like leading which leads to fewer defects in later stages of development next is a code optimization so here the tests the white box testing it can help identify inefficient code paths unnecessary code or potential optimizations by analyzing the execution paths and data flow and the disadvantages are complexity so this white box testing required deep understanding of the code which can be complex and time consuming in order to analyze especially for large applications then it requires code knowledge so testers they need to have access to and they should understand the source code which might not always be for feasible so especially in the cases where the code is not available or it is not appropriate and then limited perspective so it fo it primarily focuses on the internal logic and structure of the code uh, which potentially misses issues related to user interface or integration with external systems even the cost also the need for skilled testers who understand the code base it can act, it can increase the testing costs particularly uh, if the system is a complex system uh, 